pods versus divisions. Um, and that's where I really start with it and weigh out the pros and the cons. Because on one hand, the pod structure. It's like, why would we go to a pod structure? And I understand why you would from the entertainment value side. And I know people, you know, the, the old school, the old heads are going to hate this because it's, it's a participation trophy type of thought process. But when you think about it, right, th there's never been more options for entertainment than there are in 2022. I mean, heck, we're seeing it right now with, with college football attendances declining across the board. I couldn't believe attendance was down last year coming off of COVID. I know some people maybe were still scared off from going and inflation's happening and all that. But I think something that also happens is this. There is this win or bust mentality. And we've adopted for some weird reason, Mark, this mentality of – if you don't win at all, if you're not one of the four in the playoff, well, then you sucked. You just had a yep. bad year. If you go eight and four, ah, that team sucks. And it's like, no, they, they're they actually a really good team. Yeah. The, the I reason hate to hear that too. Right. But the, it's like the reason, you know, the playoff exists. It's not like you're just either elite or you're terrible. It's like there's a lot of wiggle room in between. But because what the playoff has done and ESPN has marketed it to, you know, who's in, and it's all about the playoff. Well, if their team's not in, fan bases are losing interest halfway through the year. And, and I'm not saying that's happening. You know, fans are going to, you know, the diehards are going to continue to show up no matter what. But you are seeing fan interest wane, I think, a little bit. Because, again, like, I even look at South Carolina. It's like, why were there some people last year that were saying 7-6 and six was a bad year? It's because – it's this championship or bust mentality. So when you bring the pods in, Mark, at least what you do with that scenario and that setup and that structure, you're giving more teams more to play for longer, right? You're going to be more invested if you feel like your team going into week 10, 11, 12 has a chance to win their pod versus if you have two divisions. And it's eight teams per division. By the halfway point, you're out of it. But there's a lot of teams, most of them are going to be out of it by the halfway point. So if you're looking at it purely from the entertainment value, I think pods are beneficial. I don't think it's going to help you reach a champion. I don't think it's even like I look at the, and I talked about this on my show the other day, the college football playoff. And this exact same point of why we should expand beyond four teams. Because now you've opened Pandora's box. You can't go back to the BCS, which I don't think looking back, we're like, you know what? ECS didn't do that bad of a job. I think most of the time they got it right. Most of the time we got the number one team. And I see you grimacing. And, and I'm not saying I want to go back to it. I'm just saying that. We're, we're going to save that conversation, Chris. Right, right. I, I'm just <laughs> saying that it feels like you could expand the playoff to 8 to 12 to 16. It's like we're still ending up with Bama and Clemson. We're still ending up with Bama and Georgia. We're still ending up with some combo of Bama, Georgia, Clemson, Ohio State, Oklahoma, Oregon, somebody else. Okay. But it's the entertainment value side. College ball is a business. they got to keep people invested as long as they can. So I, I, I would almost turn it back on you or I'd turn it on anyone. I'm not opposed to the pods, but I think the real reason for doing that is just to give at least the feeling to more teams that they have a chance. And, again, I, I hate the – you know, it's not a participation trophy type thing, but – is it if it's just SEC championship or bust? There's like three fan bases that are, that are going to be locked in on that because then you add in Texas, Oklahoma. You know, ninety percent of the teams are playing for for nothing if if, if it's all just weighed on winning a title. So you know, I, I don't know if I have one preference or the other because on the on the division side of things, I'm like, we'll just get better. I, I mean, if you if you want to have more reason to be invested, just get better. But from the business side, which I think is the way you got to look at it. I think the pods make sense because when you get to a point where you have 16 teams, it feels like you need – and, and I think what's cool too about the pods is the way you could do the scheduling. I think that would be awesome, getting to rotate more of these different types of games. I, I think you obviously got to have some permanent games that you play. Like, you know, I want to see South Carolina, Georgia play every year. I want to see Georgia, Tennessee play every year. I want to see Florida, Georgia play every year. But – you know, why is South Carolina only seeing LSU once every, like, decade? Or Bama? Once it, it feels like we're never playing these teams. So getting those more unique matchups is cool. But, you know, I, I would probably side when you add Texas and OU to the pod side of things just simply for the entertainment value because you can't just have people checking out halfway through the season. 